I'm using popsicles and stir sticks for making a backgammon game today. As the popsicle sticks are not wide enough for the game, I'm going to glue two of them together. But first I'm going to make sure that the glue spot is nice and even. I'm going to use my magnetic glue jig to glue these two pieces together. I also place something heavy on top so it won't budge while drying and leave it to dry. When the glue is hardened I am going to sand these, cut out my pictures and glue them on. When the glue is dry, I'm going to carefully cut out these two shapes uh, from my sticks. And this takes a long time, so just be patient and careful and you will manage to do it. I'm going to place them together and clamp them. This way I can sand them and make sure they are just the same size. I found a flat stir stick that I liked and I'm going to make a line down the middle of this one and I'm going to cut it in half. And then I'm going to sand them so they are nice and neat. I use this cutting tool that I have to cut out the length of these wood pieces so that I can make uh, the edge around this one.
Do this on the other piece as well. And here I went all nerdy. You do not have to make this step to make this little game, but I just had to try it out. I'm going to make this little piece of wood where the game pieces are placed when you don't play the game. After I cut a stir stick into the right size, I'm going to put it onto a stick that I have some double sided tape on. And I'm marking where I want the holes for the game pieces. I'm using my mini lathe for this instead of my Dremel as this is stationary so I can just use uh, my hands freely to make the indents. Make two of these pieces and when I'm done I'm just going to sand it a bit to make it smooth and nice. I'm glazing the paper print And then I'm just gluing on this part where the pieces for the game are supposed to lie in and making sure that it is in place while drying. Now cut and glue on the end pieces. Now sand the two pieces so they fit together nice and smooth. I'm using a tiny strip of leather and this is a really thin leather. You want the two pieces to sit like this so close it and make sure you know where the back end of the game is. Cut two small strips and glue it to the back end as the connection or the hinge. I'm cutting two more small pieces that I'm gluing at one side of the game so it looks like a tying together strip of some kind and I'm only gluing it to the one piece of the game and I'm putting on two of these and then I must have forgot to record but I am gluing a tiny hinge that I made on my 3d printer onto another strip of leather and I'm going to glue that on the opposite side of the first one as a buckle for the closing mechanism. Then I found the word backgammon and I printed it out really tiny on water decal paper. And here it is, the clay. I'm sorry, that's the only way I could figure out how to make the game pieces. So I'm using white and black polymer clay for these. I'm cutting out 15 small pieces of each color for the game. 
If you have another idea for how to make these game pieces without using polymer clay, then please let me know. I'm gluing all the game pieces on the board in the start position as if someone is going to start a new game of backgammon. I cut out a tiny cube of polymer clay to make the dies. I baked them and then I used a black marker, a thin one, and made the eyes on the dies. And that's all there is for this backgammon game. I hope you liked it. Happy crafting!